Hey guys, it's Lily Pad Polish and I'm back with another nail tutorial. So I haven't uploaded one in like at least two months, but it is summer now so I figured I had to come out with some summer nail tutorials and what is more summery than pineapples? So I decided that this would be the first summer themed nail tutorial that I upload. I was super in love with this manicure. It's still on my nails five days later and I'm just so in love with it. It. and yeah so if you guys have any requests for any other type of summary nail tutorials or nail videos that you would like to see from me definitely leave those requests down in the comments below but if you guys want to know how I created this manicure then just keep on watching so as always before we apply any type of nail polish we have to apply a base coat to protect our nails and you guys should already know that I love the yellow stopper polish as a base coat it works so good and once I've applied a generous coat of that to all of my nails I'm using yellow as my base polish for my pointer and pinky fingernail and I also did this to my thumbnail which was off camera of course and then for my middle finger and my ring fingernail I just painted it white and off camera I did apply a second coat because it wasn't 100% pigmented as I wanted it to be but once that was all nice and dry I decided to go back in with the yellow stopper polish again over only the white fingernails because we're going to be stamping over top of those and when you apply the yellow stopper polish it leaves the surface of your nail tacky and it's just a great little tip in preparation before it's stamping because it just applies a hundred times better so now for the stamping so I'm going to be using a stamping plate from Beauty Big Bang and if you missed my last video I hauled all of these stamping plates that Beauty Big Bang sent me and they were all so so nice so I'll have that video up in the right hand side of the cards if you missed it but this particular plate caught my eye immediately it's XL002 and it's super super summery it's like the perfect summer stamping plate so I figured that I had to use this as soon as possible so it's obviously still new it has the blue film over top of it so I just peeled it off and it's literally the most satisfying thing ever you have to try it at least once in your life <laughs> but this is what it looks like super super pretty and immediately I loved the pineapple of course so that's the first one that we're going to be stamping and I'm using a bundle monster black stamping polish everything will be linked down below and I picked it up with a clear stamper and because it's just the black outline I decided that I should fill it in so I'm doing a little bit of reverse stamping and I'm using a green polish to fill in the leaves or like the top portion of the pineapple and of course I'm using yellow nail polish for the rest of the pineapple and once it was dry to the touch I was able to apply it onto my nail so this one is going on my middle fingernail and because it's already nice and prepped with the yellow stopper polish we don't have to worry about it sticking onto the nail and it literally took me forever to find the perfect placement because I wanted it to be as center as possible onto my nail but once I applied it I just rolled the stamper on my nail a little bit and it stuck perfectly and it looks like such a cute little pineapple so for this image I actually did something really weird I never done this before but I really wanted to to fill this in like in a particular way so like the sunglasses had to be black and like the top of the pineapple I did with green um, and then the word summer I did with green I did yellow for like the body of the pineapple and then I did the love part with this fuchsia magenta color and I never done this before it was sort of like an experiment but I loved the way it came out when you scrape it, it obviously bleeds a little bit onto each other like it's not going to be perfect but it still came out really really nice when I picked it up with a stamper so I thought it was really interesting I'm definitely going to be trying that some more in the future but um, 
this was actually the perfect fit onto my nail if it was just a teeny bit bigger it would not have fit but I just sort of rolled it onto my nail and the word summer just barely fit <laughs> so I just patted it down to make sure that it was stuck to my nail and then I moved on to the pineapple nails which is the pointer and pinky fingernail so I'm just using a striping brush or just like a really long detail brush and I mixed some orange and yellow to get the perfect pineapple-y color and I just basically did a crisscross pattern it's pretty easy if you have a long thin nail art brush um, so I did that all over the nail and then using some green acrylic paint I just did some upside down triangles and filled it in I did about three I think I did like four and some other nails but this is basically it it's really easy I know that some people get kind of freaked out about free handing but this one was super super easy so once I was all done with the manicure I of course had to finish it off with my favorite top coat and this one is INM out the door and I'll have it linked down below, as I said, along with everything else that I used in today's video. So that concludes my summer pineapple nail tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love, love, love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't already. And as I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any requests for summer nail tutorials or anything summery that you would like to see me do, then definitely leave those requests down in the comments below so I can add it to my list of video ideas because I know it's hard to believe even though I don't upload, but I have a long, long list of videos that I want to film. Uh, I just need to find the time to actually film those. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video hopefully soon. <laughs> Bye!